Welcome <laughs> to my studio in Cooksaki, New York. Come in, please. Over here on your right, you see all of my paintings that I have here stored. I have other paintings other places, but this is the majority of the ones that I find are very, very important to me. This is a portrait of um, Catherine the Great's uh, last sort of husband, uh, Prince Zuboff was his name. He has a monkey. This is the studio. If you look back here, if you want to just take a walk back there and see what I look at when I step away from the stoop from the wall, these are my painting brushes. Some of them. I have a lot more. And there's the Hudson. This is a hard time for everybody. Um, my husband feels like he has a target on his back. He had cancer from 9-11, lung cancer, and he's, you know, he's survived all of that. And uh, he had a heart stent put in about six weeks ago, and that's been a little bit scary, and plus our ages, so it's a dangerous time for us. So we're trying to be careful. And we're going to be doing a project together later, which will also deal with the Hudson. So we have to stay healthy so that we can do it. I'd like to show you what I've been working on. Um, this, this is a, a small series that I'm beginning. I don't know how big it will get. But this is the concept about something beneath the water. But it's a metaphor for things that have been hidden from us. And now, you know, they become a little bit <laughs> obvious or apparent to us, and then they go underneath the water again. So it's kind of, you know, just a metaphor about information. Over here is the second one I did. And the same thing holds true for this. And these are all part of. Um, a series about nature that I really began in 1989 with the black paintings. I also was painting nature before. I painted clouds for 25 years. But this whole series with black paint is very important to me because it's something that includes the viewer. I like the idea that we're dealing with the viewer and the viewers becomes conscious of their visual experience. That's about it. I just like to say that I hope all of you stay healthy and I want to say thank you and hello and everybody be well, including you, Roberto. And that's it. Bye.